See here on pit boy Doppler radar down there in South Florida. You can notice the circulation is uh, pretty large there as it continues to work its way through southern part of Florida, spreading heavy rain to them back to the Keys. But until it gets away from Florida and into the eastern part of the Gulf, that's when we should likely see it strengthening into a tropical depression. Nothing yet says that, but hurricane hunters will fly into it. Latest numbers coming in here a little early at 7 a.m. for the 7 a.m. update. The winds are at 35, moving west northwest at 16 miles per hour, and that's key. The fast movement means it gets less time to spend over water and it could potentially limit the amount of development it has. So we love to see that pressure down to 10 10 millibars as well. Forecast to become a tropical depression later today in a tropical storm by tonight, then working its way kind of a beeline right to southeast Louisiana at South Mississippi. Now again, don't focus on the center line, but rather the entire forecast cone of error here as it does go all the way here to the much as all of southeast Louisiana all the way back to Mobile. So in this locations where we're looking for possible landfall again Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning. Now, since this doesn't have a closed circulation yet, we're just kind of basing it off of where it currently is. But once the models have a better idea of where it is, and that will give us a better, more accurate depiction of where the landfall will be. But most of the models, let me tell you, are right into southeast Louisiana, into south Mississippi. So if it does take that northern track, that'd be good news. That means more of the heavy rain will be in Mississippi. However, that doesn't necessarily mean we won't see any flooding because the rivers up there will all kind of drain their way into Lake Pontchartrain to so the North Shore. Could still be dealing with some flooding. Plus, we have had so much rain lately that all the rain is going to run off the ground anyway. Then it moves its way into North Louisiana by Thursday and then eventually up near Tulsa by Saturday. So tropical storm warning in effect for south, much of South Louisiana and the Mississippi coast as well. And what we're looking at is the high pressure that's going to steer. But once it gets in this part of the Gulf here, that's its window to strengthen and that's where it could become a strong tropical storm before landfall. But because it's fast movement, it gives us a little less time to develop. So still looking at three to six inches of rain. Winds about 40 to 60 miles per hour and the coastal flooding concerns around one to three feet. Again, that rainfall total will be getting pretty high, but it all depends exactly where landfall is. Most of it will be on the right side of the center of circulation, as we know, with a flash flood watch in effect for southeast Louisiana from Tuesday to Wednesday and coastal flood advisory till 8 p.m. Tuesday before the storm comes in. Already seeing some higher tides out there. Precision cast will show again the system not too far from Key West this afternoon, strengthening here into the central part of the Gulf by tomorrow morning. Again, you can see somewhat of a circulation with it and then bands of rain start coming into southeast Louisiana by noon on Tuesday and we'll continue looking at the potential landfall here around 11 o'clock Tuesday night. The model kind of shows a right over Plaquemines Parish. This model does and then eventually spreading the heaviest rains back into Mississippi and in parts of uh, north of Louisiana as well too going into Wednesday night. So definitely something we'll be keeping an eye on as we go forward throughout the day today. Winds again could be picking up to 20 to 30 miles per hour as we head into tomorrow. So look for that increased chance for wind. We have some rain out there right now across the area. You can see across part of the North Shore, nothing significant, nothing to do with the system quite yet. We'll see more rain later today and tomorrow. Then there comes the tropical rain for Wednesday.